Powdered metal is, is very versatile, but MIM takes that to a new level. There might be a more difficult uh, shape that our conventional powder metal will not allow us, but in metal injection molding, we can possibly do that. Compared to the casting world, metal injection molding parts almost always have superior strength and performance in the mechanical property side. The process of MIM is molding, debinding, and sintering. The fine powders allow us to actually densify to a much higher density than conventional powder metallurgy. The high standard of the mechanical properties and material properties allow the designers of the final applications to design for a specific strength needed in that part. The beauty of, of MIM is you can truly design a three-dimensional part. With the R&D facility here in Noblesville, we were able to lean on the support of uh, all of our metallurgists here to help us look in depth at the metal products that we're producing, making sure that they're the best and cleanest they can possibly be. We are monitoring our products that we ship on a daily basis to make sure that we do not deviate too much from what we have promised the customer. You can do anything once and you can do anything twice, but we want to do it the same every single time, every single day. Every new part is a new puzzle, a new project, and, and it's a, just a new challenge. And that challenge is what really, for me, that's what drives me, is I like that challenge, I like those check marks. I want to drive to that, that level of excellence that is a complete process. Everything is getting smaller, everything is getting more technical. You have to be able to make uh, intricate parts that almost are almost impossible to machine. Anything that has uh, very thin sections, a lot of details to it, uh, something that would take incredible, incredible amount of time and cost to machine, uh, those are the parts that are best suited for metal injection molding. Some of our parts, you struggle to uh, look at them and find the, uh, the features on the part unless you look at them under a microscope. Some of the uh, products that our customers make uh, go into uh, making automobiles, making medical devices, parts that go into like construction equipment. If our parts are not meeting specs, then we are not ensuring that those end products are effective or uh, you know what the customer wants. The quality is constantly reviewing our parts throughout the whole process, trying to put stops in place to make sure that we don't have issues or issues are caught before they go to the customer. It is very important to inspect the product so that you have the highest possible quality that is coming out of this building just to make sure that the customer gets exactly what they're looking for from aesthetic and a cosmetic viewpoint and uh, just making sure that everything is looking the best it can. Metals and densities and you know using equipment in the lab it provides me the opportunity to work in the lab as well as get involved in something that it actually goes out to make a difference in people's lives. You actually see product come get shipped, get used in a piece of equipment and uh, I find that uh, most satisfying.